I think that's it. I, I think, I think this is the one. I think I'm happy with this one. It's been a long journey, but it's just the beginning. So a couple weeks ago, I was sitting at my desk, scrolling through foundation, looking at all the digital art, and I was completely mesmerized. I thought to myself, I need to do this. So I put on my creative hat. It's actually my only hat. Pulled up Blender on my computer and started watching tutorials. After a video or two, I thought, screw this, I'm using Cinema 4D. I was too impatient to learn something new and I already have some basic fundamentals in Cinema 4D. After a little bit of messing around, I made something that was kind of interesting. It was abstract, neat, I thought, I like this. And I decided I wanted to put it on a digital playing card that turns back and forth. So instead of sticking in Cinema 4D like a reasonable person, I decided to open up After Effects and use Element 3D. No idea why, I guess I just wanted to switch it up. I was in a very experimental mindset, didn't really have any direction, just doing whatever came to mind. So I rendered out my animation, threw it into After Effects, applied it to an object in Element 3D. I had a ton of fun learning Element 3D. Honestly, it's a blast if you don't want to get into too much of the specifics of how 3D actually works and just want to play with some shapes and repeaters and everything just kind of looks good. And while I was here, I wanted to experiment with importing 3D objects, which is where this skull came from. Hopefully it's not uh, too spooky. I think I saw like a metallic skull on something else. I don't know where I saw it, but I wanted to try and create that material. But Element 3D wasn't quite doing it for me, but it did teach me a lot about materials and all the different attributes that are a part of a material. So I bit the bullet, I signed up for an Octane subscription and went back to Cinema 4D. Cinema 4D just allowed me to have a lot more control over what was going on in my scene. And if there's anything I didn't know how to do, there's tons of resources online for me to look at. And with Octane, everything just became a lot more enjoyable. I literally have the perfect computer for this sort of work. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. <laughs> Anyways, after revision, after revision, showing my friends, seeing what they thought, I finally ended up with this animation. And that brings us to now. I'm about to export this animation and we're going to upload it to Foundation, which absolutely terrifies me. <laughs> I legitimately feel scared right now. Not scared to make this video. I'm scared to pay for this, this NFT thing. This is like, this is $200 if this doesn't sell. Like, that's $200, gone. I can't afford that. But if this one sells, I'll continue to keep making more, which is the hope, that's the plan. But man, $200 to post an NFT, that hurts. This is a legitimate risk. This is not just, I don't, I, like I literally don't have $200 kicking around. Down, oh my goodness. As, as I'm talking about money, Milo just grabs his $20 bill off of Clara's desk, ready to destroy it. Look, he already put a rip in it. How dare you. <sighs> I'm going out on a risk here. On the bright side, I can write off the 200 bucks, but that's about it. All right, well, let me figure out how to pay for this. Actually, we need a description. I got the title, Numbskull. Stole that title from my friend who did another skull design. I do want to tell you how this is like my first entry. Number one. Number one Victor Reaver, oh yeah. <laughs> That's all I can think about. Oh guys, I don't want to spend $200 on this. This is literally like all the money I can spare. This better friggin' sell. If it doesn't, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll make more YouTube videos to pay for it. I am so uncomfortable right now that I'm just making jokes. Okay, first ever Matthew Piquet NFT drop. I should really be recording my screen. See, I can't even, I can't even think. First ever Matthew Piquet NFT drop. What do I type? Um, uh, I should probably put like the resolution 3840. Okay, if I go to mint this. Oh, it's only $100 now. Literally earlier today, it was $200. Why is it so much cheaper? I don't care, I'm buying this immediately. Your boy needs Ethereum. All right, give me a minute. I'm gonna stop recording. I'm gonna get Ethereum in my wallet. Let's go. So I was just doing a bit of research and I actually just found out that gas fees are not always $200. Depending on the time of day and the amount of traffic on the network, you can get gas fees under $90. So I think I'm gonna wait till like midnight or even later, like 1 a.m. and uh, do everything then. That being said, I'm trying to figure out the best way to get money into my Ethereum, or sorry, my MetaMask wallet. I think what I'll do is I'll just wait till like midnight and then do all the transferring then. I might need to add a little bit more to cover the fees, but that's where I'm at right now. So I'll hang tight and uh, do this at midnight. Also friggin Ethereum uh, apparently is just skyrocketing right now at an all time high of $2,100 or I just bought a bunch of Ethereum and I'm about to leave for a couple hours 
that might not be a good idea to hold on to it if it's this volatile. All right, screw it. It's the following day. I didn't end up doing it last night because I had to do a bit more research, figure out exactly what's going on here, what's going to happen when I hit the mint button. So we are going to wait because right now the Ethereum fees are still... Oh, they're actually getting below $100. So that's not bad, but we're gonna wait a little bit longer. The biggest update here is I actually, my username was just my name, Matthew Paquette, but I was like playing around cause like this is a really early website. I might be able to get a cool username. Um, and I was like, oh, what could I do? And I'm like, maybe I could do my, uh, my maybe I could do Matthew. So I typed in Matthew, it's already taken. Uh, tried Matt, turns out, Matt is like one of the uh, the founders of the website, kind of interesting. Obviously the name was taken. Um, I tried MP and I was like, it'd be kind of fun if I could do like a three character name, MP, MP2, no, it's kind of stupid, uh, MP3. Oh wait, that's like a music file. I'm like, wait a sec, MP4, it's available. I will now identify as the digital artist MP4 on foundation. I don't know, that's... I think, it's, I think it's, got a, it's got a cool ring to it, you know, if, if all my NFTs are MP4s. Anyways, thought that was kind of interesting. So this will be the first drop by yours truly, Matthew Biquette, AKA MP4. I love it, Matthew Biquette 4, MP4. It's about 5 p.m. now. Um, I guess I'll see you in about six hours. My mom, come here, buddy. It is not midnight, but I noticed that the fees were pretty low, like under $70. So I'm gonna give her a shot. That seems pretty reasonable compared to 200. Let's uh, hit confirm. Oh, I'm nervous. There's, apparently there's a chance if you choose the slow option, it actually won't confirm and you just lose your money. I've heard this before, but I've also heard from other people's experience that they only use slow. Man, I made a mistake buying the Ethereum off Binance and then transferring it to MetaMask. I got hit with fee after fee. It was like $30 in fees already. I don't know how long I want to sit here for. My phone's dead too. I can't even look at my phone. Let's view on Etherscan. Apparently this can take four hours. I guess I'll see you at midnight. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna stop recording. <laughs> All right, there we go. Minting complete. Um, I guess I'm supposed to click this list NFT button now. Set reserve price. Well, the beginning price, because this is my first one, needs to be like just breaking even. 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 400 bucks. That'll be, I'll break even. I'll, I mean, I'll make a little bit of profit. profit. Um, from what I understand, even after it sells, there's more fees because you have to get it from like the escrow or whatever. So, point two it is. List your NFT. Waiting. Oh, now I, I have to pay another fee to list. How many funds do I got? Let me see. Okay, I only got 27 bucks left. Okay, give me a second here. All right, I finally got the funds in for the listing. Now we're gonna wait. That was way more difficult than it was supposed to be. It would not take any of my credit cards. I had to sell ADA for Ethereum and then transfer that over. Pain in the butt, but whatever. We're here, we're going. <laughs> oh, it's been listed. View NFT, not bad. I do notice it looks a little compressed, but that's okay. I'm uh, wow, here we are. There it is. I guess, I guess I gotta share it. Okay, hold up. I was just about to share my NFT and then I went on Twitter and I saw an overly attached girlfriend, meme girl. Uh, so I saw she posted this and it was like someone had it like for 20, 20 grand. And I was like, wow, that's insane. And then I saw her um, freaking out. So I clicked on the link. It just sold for $400,000. Not only that, the previous bid was just under $300,000, $250,000, and it sold to 3F Music. Ain't that something? I'm just gonna turn off my computer, never turn it back on again. I'm gonna pray my NFT gets a single bid. All right, some closing thoughts here. I had a lot of fun learning 3D programs. Every time I see something on Instagram or Twitter now, I just think like, how can I implement this in the 3D world? It opens a new door to a whole new world of different um, things I can do. And I just want to be fluent in those skills. I, w I want to be able to look at anything and be like, yeah, I can do that, regardless if it's After Effects, Premiere, or in 3D. So with my experience through all this, if you are interested in 3D, here is what I would recommend. If you're just starting out and you have no knowledge, start with Blender. It's absolutely incredible. There's tons of resources. It's completely universal. 
industry standard, very legit. <laughs> if it's possible to do, you can do it in Blender. That being said, I already had some Cinema 4D knowledge, so it was just a quicker route for me to stick with Cinema 4D. And then with a plugin like Octane, or if you want to use Redshift, it just becomes like a powerhouse of a 3D software. And I would say if you have a lot of experience in After Effects and only After Effects, but you want to introduce some 3D into your work, I would highly recommend using Element 3D. As long as what you're trying to accomplish isn't too complicated, it'll get the job done. And it's all within After Effects. Honestly, it's a lot of fun to use. It's pretty simple. It's a good time. Now, again, I am no expert in the 3D world, but I'm absolutely loving this journey. Actually, if you are familiar with Octane and Cinema 4D, please join the Discord. Help me out. <laughs> I would appreciate your company there. Uh, now for a sec, let's talk about NFTs and specifically my thoughts here. Keep this quick. I'll keep it short. Now going into this, I didn't really know too much about the public perception of NFTs. There's a lot of pushback on NFTs for a couple different reasons. One of them being environmental issues. Uh, the second one, people think it's like this big money grab like scheme. Um, I just want to say that on those two topics, there are a lot of opinions, and honestly, I don't think there is a perfect response here. I think trying to actually measure the environmental impact of NFTs in the Ethereum network is not very easy. You cannot put an emission number on an NFT because of how the blockchain works. Even if every single person stopped making NFTs, the Ethereum train is still running. That being said, Ethereum 2.0 is on its way. There is a plan to reduce the carbon emissions on NFTs in the Ethereum network. So it's not like we're just ignoring the problem, we have a solution and it's on the way. And like I said, I don't think there's a perfect response here, but I think there are bigger fish to fry. On this topic, Blender Guru made a very good response. I would highly recommend checking out that video. Now, when it comes to the money part, I think there is a huge misconception. Just because something is selling for $400 doesn't mean the artist even gets $400. In fact, in the end, they're probably making no money off that. Hear me out. Long story short, it can cost over $200 just to post an NFT. And then on top of that, you have to pay another fee after you sell your NFT, which can be another $60. I'd say most artists are only actually receiving 20% of that sale, which is insane. And with that 20%, they're probably just cycling it back in for the next NFT. The only way you're actually making money in the NFT world is if you're selling your art for thousands of dollars. That being said, a lot of people are, but a lot of people aren't. I can guarantee you most artists are not doing it for the money. They're doing it because it's cool, it's new, and it's exciting. And in the end, they might be able to pull a couple hundred bucks out of it. Unless you personally are an OG meme, then, then you're in it for the money. <laughs> I cannot believe Overly Attached Girlfriend sold for almost half a million dollars. <sighs> All right, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Trying to get the perfect reflection off my glasses.